teaching church history well in a variety of different places looks very similar, right? So you want to teach history, you want to pay attention to how uh, people and uh, institutions and communities are both shaped by their context, their socio-cultural context, their economic and political context, as well as how perhaps they exerted a force to sort of change that context. Um, so when I teach church history, I always try to pay attention to both of those dynamics, right? both sides of that dynamic, both how the church was a product of, reflected the, uh, the socio-cultural context in which it was embedded, right, where it found itself, how it reflected its culture back to the culture. But I also try to look for ways in which the church tried to be different. The church tried to push back against the socio-cultural forces, right, as a community of faith. Um, so I get to do that, but at the seminary, I also get to take the conversation a little bit further and ask theological questions to look back at this story of the church throughout history as a single story, one that is a messy story because we're messy people, we do things that, uh, to other people that we're not proud of and we look back at the history of the church and we see lots of that. Uh, but it's also a hopeful story. It's a hopeful story because we see the church trying to live into its ideals, trying to interpret its scripture in light of its context and to bring about positive change. It's hopeful also because it's God's story and we see glimpses of how God walks with God's people throughout history. And one of the things that I appreciate being able to do in a seminary context is to walk students through the idea that not only is it a messy story and a hopeful story, but it's also our story. So one of the things that I always uh, like to begin class with is naming the fact that it is a curiosity perhaps to some students uh, that here I am, a second generation Chinese American focusing uh, in my academics on Reformation Europe, 16th century Europe, how that came about and how perhaps that affects the way that I engage both my scholarship and my teaching. And I think one of the ways that I see that is I grew up uh, loving history, loving stories from the past, but in my school textbooks not really seeing uh, the story of my family well reflected in them. And so that really opened my eyes early to the importance of not reducing the complex threads of history down to a single narrative. My heroes were uh, athletes on TV that looked nothing like me, right? And so when I engage the stories of the past that way, I'm attentive to both ways in which their experience is similar to mine and different. And I encourage students to pay attention to that as well.